In that quick tip video, I'm going to show you how you can manage the visibility of custom property based on some other custom property value. For instance, here I have this part, and if I open the property pane, I have to select the type of cut. I have different values that I could select. For instance, if I select the leather, then I am asked to select the supplier for leather. So I could select a specific value from that list. But if I would select a different type of cut, for instance, if I would use water jet, then I would be asked to select a new supplier for the water jet. How can this be implemented in custom tools? So let's check that and open the options, then activate the model properties. So here we have different properties. I'm going to add a new one. And this property will be displayed when the uh, type of water cut is other or machining. So we we'll use a combo box. Then from the show only if property value, I will select the property which is used to drive the visibility. So here the type of cut, and I'm going to enter the different values that will manage the visibility. So I could, for instance, use the machining, and I could also associate additional property value. So I'm going to use the OS, and then I can also have the other. Those values are the other values available in that combo list. So I can then select the combo list that I want to associate with that property. I click OK. And now if we go back to the property, we can verify that if we select machining, then we have the other supplier. Also, if I would select other. We are in the life-saving business. We kill your routines before they kill you.